Hallelujah, hallelujah, saints of God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Fresh Manor. I am your humble host, Pastor Arthur, Pastor A. Hallelujah. We love you so very much. We honor you. We want to honor the Holy Trinity, first and foremost. Father God, we love you so very much. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your might. Thank you for being here, your presence. We love your presence. Hallelujah. Thank you for your fresh anointing in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we love you, elder brother. Thank you, Messiah Christ, for dying in our place. Thank you for dying for our sins. Thank you for your precious blood being spilled on Calvary. Thank you. We love you so very much for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you for your act of love for us so we can understand truly what true love is. We love you for your, your sacrificial love, your selfless love. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for God in our mouth, for allowing us to speak with the tongue and to learn. Thank you for your precious, precious, precious ways. Thank you for your, your kindness and your love and your mercy upon us. We don't, never, never, ever want to grieve you. Thank you for being dwelling in us. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us right now, Holy Trinity. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray and thank God right now. Amen. Hallelujah, saints of God. Listeners, we love you so much at Altamora's Ministries. We salute you. We honor you. We thank God for your life. We don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. So we're going to get right into God's precious word. It's something serious right here. Like it always, all God's word is serious. It's beautiful. Hallelujah. So we're going to go to the first um, letter to the Corinthians. First Corinthians. Hallelujah. Six and nine and ten. Hallelujah. I say again. First Corinthians chapter six, verses nine and ten. Hallelujah. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor converters, nor drunkards, nor revealers, nor extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. That was 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 and 10. Hallelujah. Ooh, this is beautiful. Not inherit the kingdom. The kingdom is the spiritual spirit of salvation where God rules as king over all who belongs to him by faith. Hallelujah. All believers are in the spiritual kingdom, yet are waiting to enter into the full inheritance of it in the age to come. People who are characterized by these iniquities are not saved. While believers can and do commit these sins, they do not characterize them as an unbroken life pattern. When they do, it demonstrates that the person is not um, in God's kingdom. True believers who do sin resent that sin and seek to gain the victory over it. And that's Romans 7, 14 through 25. Fornicators, all who indulge in sexual immorality, but particular unmarried persons, Ooh, adulterers, those who worship any false god or follow any false religious system, adulterers, married persons who indulge in sexual acts outside their marriage, homosexuals, sodomites, these terms refer to those who exchange and corrupt normal male, female sexual rules and relationships, transvestites, sex changes, and other gender uh, provisions are included. And you can find that Genesis 1 and 27, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Sodomites are so called because the sin of man or male and male sex dominated the city of Sodom, and that's Genesis 18, 20, 19, 4, and 5. This sinful provision is condemned always in any form by Scripture. Oh, my God. And that's in Leviticus 18, 22, 20, 13. Romans 1, 26, 27. 1 Timothy 1 and 10. Hallelujah. Deeds. Hallelujah. Both are guilty of the same basic sin of greed and converterous. Thieves and converterous. Both are guilty of the same basic sin of greed. Those who are converterous desire what belongs to others. Thieves actually take it. Revealers. People who try to destroy others with words. Extortioners. 
swindlers and embezzlers who still indirectly take an unfair advantage of others for their own financial gain. Hallelujah. All of this beautiful uh, scripture in a nutshell. Oh my God. You as a person, right? We're going to speak about the unbeliever right now. Somebody who you know is committing all of these things that we went over just now. If they are submitted and committed to doing these things, this is their fate. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. I'm here to say it right now at all tomorrow's ministries. I don't give a care how much you love somebody. If they're committed, submitted to these things that God just spoke about, they're not going to make it to the kingdom they're not going to make it to heaven. They're not going home. I say it again. They're not going home. I don't give a care what ideology is out there telling people the heresy that they speaking about. These doctrines of demons. Hallelujah. That they got out here saying that if you are a doggone thief or homosexual, you're going to make it to heaven. That's wrong. Do not be deceived. The Bible tells you this right here in his word. <laughs> About being deceived. You do not deceive yourself. You're, they're not going to make it to the kingdom. Hallelujah. And I love what that word break down. It speaks about the believer, right? If you are a believer, you don't have no business doing these things. I say again, if you are a true believer in Christ Jesus, you do not have no business doing all these things that we name. Hallelujah. So what that said is, you have to resist that sin. You have to ask the Holy Spirit to help you. You need to get on your face, fall on your face and help God. I mean, not help God, but let God help you. Give it to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> you have to give it to God truly and be willing and submitted and committed to the things of God. Asking you, Lord, take this, addic this addiction from me. Hallelujah. Take these urges from me. If you a male and you thinking about sleeping with another man and you feel find that that male is cute, vice versa. The woman on woman, you know, by nature, we always speak about this here at Arthur Morris ministry. Hallelujah. By nature, the animals know not to go with the same um, sex. They know not to do that. If the animals know how much more are we accountable for and we was made in God's image. Come on now. It's no excuse. People be wanting to put excuses on everything because if sin feels comfortable to them, but they, but it's wrong. Hallelujah. You know it by nature. So you have no excuse. That's a double whammy. Hallelujah. You know inside of you morally is wrong, but you continue to live in that lust. Hallelujah. I'm, I got my apostolistic hat on right now. Hallelujah. We love you so very much at Arthur Mars Ministries. But look, we are commissioned by God. I'll tell you the truth. We, we read straight out the Bible. Hallelujah. We telling you, look, this is what God's word say. We got the study notes, the proven. Hallelujah. We come with reference scripture. Hallelujah. We lay about the Holy Ghost. So please, if you know anybody who's committing these things and you love them, you better be praying for them. You need to let them know what's up. They're not going to make it home. They're not going to make it home and give a care what they think and what the world tells them. I don't give a care what Satan is telling them. You tell them what the Bible say if you truly love them. And that's what we do at Altamar's Ministries. When I, we say we love you, that's what it is. We love you enough that, look, we respect you enough. But look, guess what? We respect God. And this is what God said. And we belay God's word. And this is what it is. So we love you at Altamar's Ministry. We love God most and foremost. Most importantly, uh, we love his word. Hallelujah. We love God and his word and God's word. He's not separated from his word. He is his word. Hallelujah. So we love you here at Arthur Morris Ministries. You want to sow? We always extend a beautiful opportunity for you to sow. Hallelujah. You can do that at our precious website at www.arthurmorrisministries.com. I say again www.arthurmorrisministries.com. Hallelujah. You could go ahead and inbox us at Facebook with your prayer requests, testimonies, all that good stuff. Hallelujah. You can write to us. Hallelujah. We love you. We thank God. We are praying your life with decree and declare over your life. Hallelujah. Coming in agreements in the mighty name of Jesus and get it done. Hallelujah. And praise God in advance and love on him. 
Hallelujah. So this has been Fresh Manner. I am your humble host as always, Pastor Arthur. We love you. Signing off.